Hi, today I'm going to show you my top 10 nail polishes. I'm a complete nail polish freak. I have like uh, maybe over 60 or something. It's ridiculous. Um, but I love nail polish. I think it's such an easy way to sort of express yourself. I know that sounds really cheesy, but especially if you're going to work and you wear quite natural makeup, if you wear just like a bright nail polish, um, I really love that. So I'm going to start by showing you my two favourite top coats. Um, I don't really have a favourite base coat. I use Nails Ink Caviar, but it's not really a favourite. I just use it and I don't particularly love it. So if you have any base coats that you really recommend, let me know in the comments because I'd love to try a new one. One of my favourite top coats is Sesh Feet. Um, it's obviously a really famous one. I got this from a sort of salon um, supply store. It's lasted me ages. It's really thick and gloopy and makes the nail polish last for ages. Um, my other favourite is the Nubar Diamond Seal and Shine top coat. Um, Nubar is a really cool brand that you can get on Beauty Bay, I think it's called. I'll put the link below. Um, really nice big bottles with big brushes. Like I really like the handle. I find it really easy to use. So that's definitely a brand I'd recommend looking into. Um, so yeah, let's start on the nail polish. I've painted all my nails like every different colour so I can show you what they look like on the nails as well. So I'll start with this hand, this is like the sort of bright pastel -y colours. So first nail polish is on my thumb and this is the Topshop Pool Party. I bought this recently, it was in one of my blog posts. It's a really nice bluey green so it's sort of like a mint green but it's definitely got quite a lot of blue in it. I'm not describing this very well, but I get so many compliments when I wear this nail polish. I really like it. Um, I'm not a massive fan of Topshop nail polishes. I find the brush quite short and stubby, so it's quite hard to use. But um, this is my favourite colour that I've tried so far. Um, I really recommend it. It's really nice, especially for the summer. The second polish is this one, which is um, Essie Cute as a Button. And that's on this finger. So this is a nice coral colour. Um, I bought this last year. Um, yeah, I'd say it's coral, quite a lot of pink in it as well. Um, you can see it there. Really nice again for the summer. Um, this is probably my, my favourite coral nail polish. Um, I love Essie. I've got, uh, maybe I'm trying to count up there. I don't know, maybe like over 10 Essie nail polishes. They're one of my favourite brands. Um, a lot of people say that they chip, but they last really well on me. I think it obviously depends on the top coat as well. Um, but I like the size bottles and everything, so that's that one. The next one is another Essie, and it's Mint Candy Apple. This is quite a well-known nail polish. I'm going to swear at you now, but that's that finger. Um, that's a uh, mint green. That's the Topshop one and that's the Essie one. So the Topshop one's slightly darker, the Essie's a proper pastel mint. mint. I say mint green, but actually I think it's very blue. It's more blue. Um, I've had this one for years. I think it's nearly finished, actually. Um, probably had it over a year. And I definitely think this is probably my favourite polish, I think. I don't know, it's quite hard to pick one, but I always go back to this one and it's so easy to wear and it looks nice all the time. The next polish is a new one and one I'm absolutely loving. It's Pixie from their new Pixie Glow, Ra um, Glow Range collection, which is with Disney um, and Tinkerbell. And this is called, um, I can't remember what this is called, but I'm gonna put it below. It's really hard to read on the actual bottle. But first of all, I love the bottle shape of these. They're completely different to any other nail polish, as you can see. They're thin and long, and I can imagine if I have loads of these, they must be so nice and easy to store, because they don't take up much space. It also has a really nice long brush, which I like, because it's really easy to sort of put on the polish in one swipe. Um, that's this colour. So it's not showing up that bright, but it's actually a really bright neon pink. I recently bought a nail polish from American Apparel, one of their neon polishes, and I was really disappointed that it wasn't that neon. But this one is actually really, really bright pink. Um, I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it for over a week every day, which is something I, I normally change my polish every two days. So I'm completely obsessed with this. I'm really, really happy. It lasts really well. Um, when you look at it in the bottle, it's got sort of gold shimmer. 
but that doesn't show up on the nails which is a bit of a shame and um, the polish also comes out quite matte but I always put on a top coat so it's shiny but yeah I really really love that also got loads of compliments wearing that one the next one is um, an MUA polish I'm, I don't really have that much stuff from MUA but I got this at the launch of the Love Hearts collection um, and this is you rock that's the name you rock um, and this is the polish it's it's funny because when you look at it on your own, on its own you think it's sort of a purple but when you compare it to the other purple polish in the collection this is a very very blue toned purple and um, I've got it on that finger there um, it's really nice I like this because it's just it's unlike any other kind of polish that I've seen this sort of bluey purple color I just think it's really nice um, it's Good quality nail polish. I mean, it's really cheap. I can't. I think it's like a pound or something. Um, so I definitely recommend that one. And that's out at the moment in Superdrug. So that's that hand. So that's all those colours there. It's MUA, Pixie, SC, SC, Topshop. Um, and then the next hand I've got here. I'll show you each one separately. The first one is. Oh, I love this polish. This is from Look Beauty. Look Magazine recently launched their own beauty range called Look Beauty. And um, this is their nail polish Bling. I've written about this loads in my blog. It's a powder pink glitter. Um, and I've put it on this finger. Sorry, my camera doesn't really focus, so I'm sorry if you can't see it. I'll try and do a blog post with this as well so you can see. The thing I love about this, most glitter polishes you have to put on like four or five layers until it's thick. But this one, like, if as long as you shake it, you have to shake it loads. Like, with one swipe, you get a really, really thick layer of glitter. And it, it looks like proper solid glitter. I just, I absolutely love it. I wear this all the time. And it's incredible. I do put on two coats just to be safe and make it look better. And then top coats make it glossy. But you don't really need two coats. You can easily have one. Um, I just, I really highly, highly recommend this. Uh, I love this polish, it's so good. Best glitter polish I've tried. The next one is another Essie polish, and this is in Merino Cool. This is a really nice sort of autumn winter colour. It's a taupey, purpley brown. It looks quite purple on the camera. That's what it looks like on. Um, I just think it's really nice, really like chic, classic, quite mature. Um, sometimes if I don't want to have like extravagant nails, I just put this all over and just think it's really nice and it goes with so many different outfits, really easy, um, it just looks quite luxurious I think. The next one I bought when I was in Miami from Sephora, um, this was around the time the Muppets collection was released and Rainbow Connection had completely sold out and it looked so nice, so I was really upset, but then I saw um, OPI for Sephora have this polish called um, Sparktacular and it's actually a glitter top coat so it looks like that it's multicolored glitter it's got like silver blue orange green like all different colors in there in sort of different sized circles so like that um, I've painted it on just by itself to show you but I'd normally put it on top of something so it kind of looks like that so if you can see that clearly but it's so nice like when you apply it it goes on quite uneven it's quite hard to get like an even layer because it's all sort of different shapes and stuff but if you apply it on top of to the right nail polish it looks really good and I'll show you in a minute what I wear it on top of but um, I just love it it's pretty much exactly the same as Rainbow Connection um, and it's OPI for Sephora so it probably is exactly the same um, it's just got a different name but I'm really happy I got that um, it's a massive bottle I think OPI polishes are just unnecessarily big but hopefully I'll get through it all the next one is another sort of glitter polish. Actually, I don't know if it is glitter. I don't know how it's described. Um, but this is the Fashionista Mystical Dragon. Uh, Fashionista is a sort of quite new brand, I think, super drug, uh, where you can build your own palettes and stuff, but they also do nail polish. And this isn't a colour I would normally pick, but it's really cool. And when I wear it, a lot of people admit, like come up and ask me about my nail polish. It looks like this. So it's bright sort of metallic -y blue green shimmer it probably doesn't show up as good on camera as it as it looks but it's really quite amazing color it's sort of holographic and again I was so impressed like 
one coat of this and you get a thick layer of polish you don't even need to put on another coat so like i'd say the fashion is done look the best quality for sort of getting without having to put two layers on which is really funny because they're like the cheapest ones um but yeah it's really good though the, it has a sort of similar lid to like chanel ones where it takes off and there's a smaller lid inside it's quite annoying because this one gets stuck quite a lot so the package is a bit cheap but the polish is good so that's all that matters really so that's Fashionista, you can get that from Superdrug. And then the final one is um, Zoya Jewels. Um, Zoya, I've got a couple of polishes from Zoya. It's kind of, I never really thought about it before, but I saw it in America and just thought I'm going to try one. And they're really good quality and really easy to apply. Nice packaging with like a nice little lid, it's quite easy to hold. Um, this is the colour I wear underneath the spectacular glitter top coat because it's sort of I'll show you here it's sort of like a gold shimmer but it's really sheer like if you wore it on its own it's pretty nude like you wouldn't be able to see see it much but it's really nice and subtle and it's just kind of quite different to anything else um, and I wear that underneath the glitter top coats and they go really well together so that's Zoya Jewels um, and I think that's really pretty that's my top 10 favourite nail polishes. I hope you like them. This is all of them together. So let me know if any of those are also your favourites and what your favourites are because I'm obsessed with nail polish and always love trying new ones. So let me know if you can recommend any. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye.